Um, I um, what did you do? I did something. I was. Oh I didn't think God. it was that bad, but a, a parent, in we'll hindsight, I was like, maybe since <laughs> nationals came to, to investigate, wow. maybe it was not a good choice. You know, my school was about 20 minutes from my grandparents' farm. Oh, jeez. So I got some pledges in my car and blindfolded them and took them in the middle of the pasture in pitch black. And um, we did, I just with another sister and we were like, there's only one person you can rely on and blah, 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 blah. And when we took the blindfold off, I had a mirror in front of their face. Oh, we did something like that. But but not blindfolding of- and transporting yeah, them I, yeah, that's 20 cool. minutes out of town into a cow pasture. There were cows still in the pasture. Those <laughs> girls were freaked out and reported us to Nationals. So Nationals came down and investigated. We didn't get in any trouble. We got a slap on the wrist. Did you stay friends with those girls? I don't even remember who they were. You steered clear of them, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I don't know. We did something like that, but it was in the house. So they went from room to room. Uh-huh. And then that was the last room. We did stuff room. like that too. Yeah, it was the last room where we had the mirror, but um, not cow pastures. We don't have no. a lot of those in San Jose. No, so. no, all of those in San Jose. <laughs> yeah. But we also did the like, you will be my servant for the day kind of stuff, which is considered hazing. Yeah. I, that was. We didn't have any of that. I think they no. were really paranoid. Oh, well, we did. Um, but there was definitely, I remember I was friends with a bunch of Fijis at West Virginia University. Oh, well. And I remember. <laughs> remember um that like going to drop something off for a friend who was at the house and there were all these pledges who were standing in various oh. spots and they weren't allowed to move yeah and like they had to go to the bathroom there i mean i was just like i remember being like this is so sad like walking around them and being like sorry do you know where jeff is you know like yeah and like just like it was like painful to watch yeah. and they were drunk they were in their underwear oh my god not allowed to move um but that's great. That was like, I, you know, you hear a way worse than that yeah, going totally. on. Well, we live. So our house was on like a college was here street then our house. And then beta theta pi was next to us. Sigma chi was next to beta theta pi. Woo-hoo. And then two. That was the fun house at West Virginia. Uh, <laughs> two. Was Sigma new? Sigma chi. Oh. Um, yeah. Sigma chi, <laughs> beta theta pi, us. And then, oh my gosh, I can't remember the. That. So there was. On one street, there was three fraternities, one sorority, my sorority. So we could look from our second floor and we could see into the beta house and we could see the backyard. So we could see what they were doing. Mm. And like, we're not stupid. And Sigma Chi was next to us. Mm -hmm. So we could definitely hear and see a lot that we probably shouldn't have. Yeah. But yeah, hazing's real, but we didn't. And I don't think it's, I mean, I don't think it stopped and it's, um, uh, it's just sad. I mean, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that way. Uh, no, it all. shouldn't. It, but the, I have two views on that. Like everything. I have two <laughs> views on almost everything. Part of it is uh, the means, the seriously mean shit is not cool. Uh, me driving people into the pasture and making them really scared. Now it, I know is not cool. I'm more concerned with the excessive drinking and kids dying. Well that, yeah, yeah that's yeah. part of it. But, I remember like one sister would make these ridiculous signs on poster boards and a pledge had to carry it all day long. So the sign would be like, I eat pizza in my panties or something, you know, really not harmful, but really ridiculous. And she'd have to carry it all day. And if she was caught without it, she'd get in trouble. So part of that, I think, is really funny and fun and traditional and goofy and ridiculous. And that part is like what you were saying is a memory is you make a memory of doing something really stupid. Yeah. But then when it, it's just such a fine line of it all is. of a sudden you're in this place where now someone feels humiliated. Yeah. Is someone going to feel humiliated because you have a, a, a sign that says, I like to eat pizza in my panties? Maybe one person would and another person would go, well, obviously this is a uh, this is I'm being hazed. Like this is what is called pledge their what's it, pledge week. Rush, yeah, yeah, pledge yeah. Week. Initiation pledge week. week is what we uh, yeah, called it. The, that week, they have to do all these things. That's when a lot of hazing happened mm-hmm. in our on our campus was during Pledge Week. I think it's called Pledge Week in mm-hmm. our campus. Um, and because they get initiated at the end of the week. So that's when you really, quote, prove yourself. Yeah, right. right. Your loyalty and your big sister would send you on errands and so-and-so would make you do something ridiculous or you'd have to go and say, these are the things that I remember happening you have to walk up to the cute guy that's a that's a Sigma Nu and say this line to him. Like, I really think your ass is cute. You know, it's like that kind of stuff where you go, that's ridiculous. Now, one person may be really offended to do that. Yeah. But Sydney Grusin, 
would die <laughs> if you said you have to walk up to this boy and say, I think your ass is really cute yeah, in those she jeans. Would, she would die. Yeah, by quit. the way, in today's precious world. Yeah, right. I'm sure none of that's happening. None of that's happening. No. But to me, I go, that's a freaking funny memory. That's yeah. funny to do stuff like that. No one got hurt. Right. It's ridiculous to carry a sign around. I remember someone carrying a poster around, like a full size poster that had to carry it all day and it said something stupid on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. To me, that stuff is totally funny and a memory. But the other stuff that's kind of super intense, the boys' stuff is a completely different ball game. Well, I, I like. agree. I because yeah. girls they get paddled. They, uh, yeah, they get a lot of stuff. But like art, we can have alcohol in our house. Um, you didn't have what alcohol? Oh, so it's convenient. We were next to three fraternity, so mm -hmm. it's really easy. But um, I think it is def definitely different. Like the girls didn't. They now that you say like having to go up guys and saying you have a cute ass or whatever. Maybe some of that stuff did happen, but I didn't think of, I don't think of that as hazing. Right. Right. Um, but I think it, I think it's really hard because we see it as, you know, totally innocent, yeah. fun, stupid, but I think the boys can't, can't come up with something that's man enough or, or proves themselves mm -hmm. enough. And the alcohol, the alcohol, that's, what that's the scary me. part. Like yeah. I don't, kids are dying. I, I mean, it's crazy. You're, you're 18, 19. You have no Chances idea. are you haven't had really a whole lot of, maybe you went to a few parties in high school, but not the degree of college level. Right. And no. they don't know their boundaries and they don't know what's safe. Right. And I think that that's really scary. They right. don't understand that the excessive drinking can kill them. 